Hello and what's up YouTube? Today, I want to show you the latest version of my homemade powder coating gun. It started with my original air blow gun and aluminum frame setup from version 1. So do check out that video if you have not done yet to see how I made that part. I put the link to that video in the description. I simply added a switch to easily turn on and off the power to the high voltage cascade. I do have a separate video on how I made the high voltage cascade so do check it out if you have not seen it yet. You can find the link to that video in the description. Now I positioned that high voltage cascade on top of the gun frame with that piece of white plastic part you can see there. And I made that part out of this PVC pipe clamps. As you can see it has AT cross section over there. I used a hacksaw to cut out the parts and drilled some holes so that the high voltage cascade can be attached with screws and secured to the frame of the gun. I used this T-air fitting, and it so happened that it is a good fit to the metal air outlet tube of the blow gun. These push-in style fittings conveniently connects to these 6mm air hose. And that supply air to the powder jar. I'll now show you how I made the top cap of the powder jar. The original plastic cap of the jar is not strong enough so I have to reinforce it with two layers of aluminum sheets. I then drilled holes for the bolts and other fittings that go with it. Using a step drill bit makes it easy to drill the various holes. The original plastic cap is sandwiched between the two layers of aluminum sheets and held in place with small bolts. The air and powder mix goes out of the jar through this 20mm PVC bulk head fitting. It is threaded so it is easy to attach it to the cap. I got it from the electrical section of the hardware store. I then used two of these threaded push-in fittings. I drilled the holes to just the right size that the fittings tightly thread into the soft aluminum. On the final assembly, I used silicon sealant in between the aluminum sheet to make it airtight. I drilled to enlarge the holes at the other end of the push-in fitting, so that the air hose can slide all the way through. I drilled just enough depth, so I don't damage the mechanism inside. Now the hoses can slide all the way through and the push-in mechanism still works.
With these fittings, I can easily adjust the length of the hoses inside the jar. I will later experiment with certain hose arrangement that will create the best air and powder consistency going out of the gun nozzle. On previous gun version, I used this PVC elbow fitting. But as you can see inside, there is a sharp 90 degrees corner, and I think that restrict the flow of powder. So I bend the PVC tube instead of using an elbow fitting. To bend the PVC pipe, I filled it with dry sand. The sand will prevent it from kinks. I taped the ends of the pipe to keep the sand inside. Then I just heat it slowly in a stove. I rotate the pipe so that the spot to bend will be heated evenly. The PVC tube will be soft enough and you can easily bend it. Then just let it cool down and wash away the sand inside. So air will be injected inside the powder jar to blow the powder mixed with air out of the gun nozzle. It's simple as that. Going back to the high voltage cascade, I added a red LED inside to indicate when it is energized. I also used this piece of insulated wire for the high voltage output. I got that insulated wire from a cable TV coaxial cable, and I used it because it has very good insulation. That will connect the high voltage output to the electrode at the tip of the gun that will negatively charge the powder through corona discharge. Now I show you how I made that electrode and powder deflector. Just like the earlier gun version, the electrode is just a piece of solid wire that I sharpen the end to a point. I then bend the other end to 90 degrees, so that it can protrude out of the gun nozzle through the hole I drilled. I then used a plastic centralizer from previous gun version to keep it centered. The powder deflector is made out of the tip of these correction fluid I cut out and filled with epoxy. You can see that I can slide it in and out of the electrode, and I'm thinking that will affect the shape of the air and powder cloud mix.
So that is all for this video guys. Next video you will see me using this homemade powder coating gun. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please hit the like button and would also like to hear your comments. Thank you very much.